Hey, Flyers fans. Mark back at you again with another special edition of Flyers 2022-2023. Oh, big yeah. I hope you missed me because I missed you. And I hope I'm not the first person to tell you that today because you are loved as a Flyers fan. Whether you're a casual fan, a hardcore fan, you are a Flyers fan, and that makes you special. Now, you need to get excited for this season. Now, let's all take a step back, just a little step back. Let's look in the mirror. Last year was hard on us. It hurt me. I know it hurt you, but you know what? We're Philly fans, and sometimes we get our heart broken. And this is a new year to get excited, and that heart is back in one piece. The Flyers are under new management. John Tortorella is bringing a new gritty, yeah, pun intended, gritty and hardcore kind of mentality to this team. We had a young team, Noah Cates, Morgan Frost, Joel Farabee, Wade Allison, to name a few Getting after it, this team is checking hard. They're playing defense. Tony D'Angelo, one of the new defensemen, trying to bring a little bit of hard mentality to this team that wasn't there last year. Carter Hart back in between the pipes, trying to steady us from the back end, trying to make sure that this team can get back to a really, really impressive team that they always can be. So let's see what they've done so far. So the Flyers so far have played four games. They ended up with the home opener against the Devils on Thursday. Ended up winning 5-2. to two. The team was clicking. Again, hard back checking. Defense, defense, defense. This is what this team is trying to be made around. And John Tortorella, I think, is doing a fine job so far. Now the Flyers followed up the win at home. 3-2 to two versus the Canucks on Saturday. And then they went on a three-game road trip. Played the Lightning, Tampa Bay Lightning, of all people. You know, you don't want to see the former, you know, team out, you know, in the Stanley Cup. But they ended up taking it to them. They ended up winning 3-2 to two in their home rink. And then followed it up with a follow-up game in Florida against the Panthers. Ended up losing 4-3. to three, But... You have to take a little bit of the good with the bad. Flyers 3-1 and one so far on the season. They're going to be taking on Nashville in Nashville on Saturday, following it up with a game Sunday against San Jose, and then taking on those Florida Panthers again on Thursday. So, guys, as I said before, it's a lot of things to get excited about with this team. They're young. They're energetic. They are putting in the work. John Tortorella doesn't mess around. He says it says what's ever on his mind and i appreciate that type of brutal honesty and i know these young kids too and just because it's brutally honest doesn't mean that he doesn't care i'm hearing great stories out of the locker room reading about the players really just gravitating towards him because he's hard on you but he cares and that's the type of person you want leading that team so guys that's it for me here inside the melting pad on next level radio